this look. I hope you like this look. I hope you like this look. What up? <laughs> How's the honeybee to bees? It's me, Byron Shears, Busy B, your gay bae. Yeah. And I'm back with another video here on our channel. On today, you guys, um, I just wanted to do like a really simple, soft, and natural beat. I know you guys sometimes get tired of doing the exhausting eye makeup. It doesn't always take that. A lot of times you can do like some really nice doll eyes, some heavy mascara, a smaller lash, no eyeshadow, and you're out of the door. So this look literally was super simple. It's super cute. I love how clean and fresh it looks. And I'm trying out a bunch of new products from Benefit Cosmetics. Benefit sent me over a beautiful package, okay? So I wanted to use as many of the products as I possibly could. Um, if you guys want to know exactly what I used, of course, you can continue to watch this video. Are you a beauty bee? I just need to know, are you a beauty bee or are you a not a beauty bee, okay? Because if you're not a beauty bee, you can most certainly hang around and watch the videos, but whatever you do, Make sure you do not get stung. <laughs> if you guys want to be a beauty bee, all you have to do is click the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray. Next to it, you'll see a small bell, okay? Click that bell and then click all. That way you can get all of the notifications that we have here on our channel. You guys know when it comes down to this channel, I'm still trying to find myself. Like we're still trying to find ourselves over here, but don't worry, we're gonna press through. We're doing lives. We have regular video content uploading and there are gonna be some giveaways here on this channel too. So you wanna make sure that you are a beauty bee and when you get done with these simple steps comment down below what part of this video is your best part of the video and use hashtag beauty bee so that way we all know here that you are a part of the fam all right so i'm not gonna hold you guys up i'm not gonna keep rambling keep talking um, all of the information you need on this look is going to be in the description bar down below. So make sure you check there on your way out. If you guys decide that you want to pick up or try any of these products, are you familiar with Benefit Cosmetics? I'm usually using their brow products or I'm using Anastasia, Beverly Hills brow, product, brow products. I love them both, um, but Benefit brow products are banging, okay? So... Like I said, I did a full face Benefit Cosmetics and I like it. Like, I really, really like it. There's a few things that I would change. However, um, we'll work on that change later. If you want to know my thoughts, <laughs> just continue to watch the video because I already know exactly what you came to see. All right, y'all, let's get into this. I am going to start off by priming my face with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I have really, really been feeling this primer as of lately. I really like it. It hydrates my skin. My makeup lasts a lot longer and it also lays smoothly on the skin with this primer. So that's that on that. Thank you so much Benefit Cosmetics for sending me out this PR package and adding me to Club Pink. I was super, super excited. Thank you so much for all these gorgeous goodies. We are definitely going to get in some on today, okay? Sigma also sent me out their new studio collection. Oh, these brushes, you guys, they look amazing. And we definitely have a couple new designs. Well, they're all new designs, but we have like two extremely new designs. This one is the F85 Airbrush Kabuki. It's so soft and you guys, I love the cut and the density of this brush. So I needed to share that with you guys. And I'm gonna go in with this Benefit Hello Happy Stick in shade number eight. Now, you guys know I do like stick foundations. This was my first time using the Benefit stick foundation, but I'm gonna treat it just like any other one. Um, I'm going to warm the product up on my skin and I'm gonna pounce the Kabuki brush into the product and then go in on my face. Honestly and truly, like, 
I wasn't really seeing the coverage that I wanted to see, even though I felt like it was given really, really good coverage. Ultimately, it just did not give me the coverage that I wanted um, to see. But again, like I said, this was my first time using this stick foundation, so I wasn't really sure about the coverage. Even though I felt like it was actually really pretty on the skin, it looked really skin-like, um, as you guys can see. But you can be the judge for yourself. Like, I think it looked good, but I wanted to go in on the other side of my face by putting the product directly onto the skin and I do believe that when it comes down to the stick foundation I like that technique better so I would suggest you just go right in on the skin if you want a lighter application um, you can definitely warm the stick up on your wrist and go in with your brush and then go on to the face you'll get a lighter coverage and basically like a more natural look but for this natural look, we need a little bit more coverage, okay? So, going in directly on the face with the stick seemed to work out a lot better for me. So, I'm just going to stipple with the F85 Kabuki brush. I really, really like this brush, you guys, for foundation. And y'all know how much I've been loving the one from Juvia's. But this particular one, the F85, is very, very nice and it's soft, okay? So speaking of Juvia's Place, duh, we're going to go in with Abidjan. So I use this thick foundation the same way that I use the Hello Happy, but the color is going to warm up my skin. And it's not going to contour my skin, but it is going to act like a cream bronzer, okay? So that's what Abidjan is like on my skin. And as you guys can see right here, it's a slight difference, but it is a difference. It warms up the skin and make the skin look a lot more, make the foundation look more skin-like. So I'm looking up because you guys know I usually take foundation like back onto my bald head but not on today i didn't do that because i wasn't sure if i was gonna wear a hat or not but whatever so as you guys can see the abijan is like really warming up this foundation and these foundations actually play very well with each other so we like that we like when our products um enjoy each other's company over here on this channel okay So yeah, I'm just going in, making sure that there are no harsh lines and that the foundation was blended. So right now I am using something new. So it's a liquid blush from Benefit. This is the Benetint Stain. Okay, so it's a lip and cheek stain. And no shade, I've even heard people use this on like other body parts, but whatever. But it's the Benetint Stain from Benefit Cosmetics. And you can use it on the lips and cheeks here. I'm just going to put it on the inside of my lip just to kind of give like that popsicle look to the lips. I'm also going to add it to my cheeks and on the bridge of my nose just so I can have that gorgeous little area. Now I'm going in with a Sigma brush, the F15 brush. And I really like this brush, you know, dual fiber brushes tend to blow product out and make application a lot softer. So that's what I'm going in with this brush right now. Just tapping that edge out. I really like the look this tint, but it was scary to look at. But after I blended it out, I noticed how soft it was. So I went in with the second coat just so it could really, really show up. And I'm just putting it on the back of my cheekbones and again like I said across the nose with any extra product that perhaps was left on the brush so if you guys are interested in the Benetint Sane and you thought it was going to be too strong or too much for you because it's like extremely cherry red in the bottle you don't have to worry about that so now I'm going in with the Boing Cakeless 
concealer from Benefit. And this is in number seven. It's a bit light, but it wasn't actually looking so like I could actually work with it. I wasn't sure exactly um, about the formula. Like this was my first time using it. So I wanted to do one eye at a time. I didn't want to run the risk of it drying down before I had a chance to blend it out. And speaking of blending, I'm using the F65 brush from Sigma, the large concealer brush. I really like it. And I'm just showing you from one side to the next with the concealer and without the concealer. And so yeah, I'm just gonna go in on the same side. And you guys, I love this brush from Sigma. Make sure you check it out. I do have a discount code with Sigma. The discount code is BEAUTYB, all caps. You can use that at sigmabeauty.com if you guys want to support me and perhaps save yourself a little bit of money at checkout. But I do love this brush, okay? It's not the smallest brush, but my face is not small, so it really works for me. And it blends the um, product out beautifully. Even though I must admit to y'all, I'm not sure if this is like my favorite concealer. Like, I'm not sure if it's my favorite. It dries down, I don't know. We'll see. I'll use it again, but I need more of like a creamier texture, especially underneath the eye, but it was nice. I did enjoy the color. And um, I think that doing one eye at a time was the best, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with the powders from Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place. I don't even know what I, I was just excited, I don't know. So I'm using uh, Kalahari under the eye. Oh, first I went in with just a little bit more of the Boing Concealer on my small beauty blender, my little mini beauty blender. You guys laugh at me about my small sponges all the time. I don't care, I love them. And with this Real Techniques under eye powder brush, I'm going to push Kalahari into the skin. I'm not baking or anything, but I, I do wanna push Kalahari down into the skin. And then I'll be using a larger brush with Gobi, which is the deeper setting powder from Juvia's Place all over. So I'm just gonna lightly set um, above the eye and completely around the eye with the Kalahari. And I'll put the Gobi pretty much everywhere else. Make sure you get around your bell pepper if you have one like I do. And also use the Kalahari in, I use the Kalahari in my T-zone area. Just all the places that I want to keep light. So now this is the F36, sorry, the F29, okay, bronze brush. So you can use it for overall powder or you can also use it for bronzer. I'm using it for, as you guys can see, like just overall powder with the Gobi. I'm also going to go into the Hula. And with the Hula, I am using the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is the E35. And I'm basically just going to run that all in the eye area just to define the crease per se. Um, because there's no shadow in this look and I'm also gonna take the F29 brush and dip it in the hula as you guys will be able to see for a bronzer the hula uh, bronzer doesn't really show up on me so I'm definitely gonna be checking out the other two shades they have two darker shades um, outside of the hula but I guess she did what she was supposed to do. I don't know, y'all. Normally, I like a little bit more. I'm not going to lie. However, um, she showed up and looked nice. So, I'm just running that same hula underneath the eye with the E31 brush. It's a dome pencil brush from Sigma Beauty. I'm going to use that underneath the eye as well just so I can tie everything 
in together. And I'm also going to use um, a mascara underneath the eye as well. So it'll give more of a complete look by just using the hula. Um, because of course, what's on top must be on the bottom. Well, not always, but in this case, for sure, it's the best. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna use the F29 and I'm gonna dip it down into the hula bronzer. And I'm really like trying to pack this bronzer on the brush. And um, it's kind of easy to bronze up the face because you know, I use the Gobi powder, which is a deeper tone. And I also used the stick foundation in the Abidjan which gave us a lot more color as you guys saw in the beginning so I'm basically just using this hula bronzer to do a stronger set okay just to make sure that everything is nice blended and smooth and now I'm going to go in with the F67 skin perfecto brush from Sigma with the Fenty powder. Y'all, this combination is the bomb, okay? The Fenty powder on the F67 Skin Perfector brush, like I really, really enjoyed this brush. I'm probably gonna purchase a second one of these brushes because I love this so much. Like, look how it fits underneath the eye, it's amazing. So now I'm gonna go in with the California and I'm gonna use the F36 Tapered Cheek Brush. And the reason why I really like that brush is because it's not just round. Like most blush brushes are just round. So now I'm gonna go in with my brows, okay? And I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5 and I'm gonna use that just to define my brows and outline my brows and really bring home the shape of my brows and I love the fact that their brushes have the uh, the spoolie is on the pencils okay I really really like that and once I do that I'm gonna go in now with my precisely my brow pencil and I'm gonna do those hair like strokes the pencil I'm using is in 4.5 if you need a reference and the tip of this pencil is a lot smaller, okay? So I'm able to get those hair-like strokes and really, really bring it home and fill in those smaller gaps and smaller areas. Now I'm gonna set the brow and remove any powder residue that may have fallen down onto my brows when I was setting my face. And I'm also gonna lock those brows in place, okay? And this is the 24-hour brow setter. Um, from Benefit Cosmetics. It's a clear gel and it's basically like hair gel, but formulated for your brows. This was a really, really cute find, the Professional Setting Spray. So it is matte and I was scared that it was gonna make my face too matte and y'all know I can't help it. I'm addicted to two setting sprays, okay? So I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray and Lavender, love her. And I'm gonna top it off with the new gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills, you guys. This gloss, the Crystal Gloss is the bomb. Like it's the bomb, seriously. And I love clear gloss. I don't know, between this one and the new one from Juvia's Place, the glass, like I'm addicted to both of them. So you'll see them both. <laughs> you'll definitely see them both here on the channel. First mascara I ever fell in love with, they're real. And they actually make my lashes look real. The wand is really, really good. Even though I don't think this mascara is the best for bottom lashes, but I do love their real mascara. I'm gonna go with the Makeup Geek, the Makeup Geek Eyelash Curler first and then yeah just use the mascara which i really really love this is a good mascara speaking of makeup geek they have a new mascara too that's really good as well so i don't know i'll be bouncing through a few 
a few mascaras, but they're real, it's a bomb. And for lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Ardell Naked Lashes in 424. I told you, you guys see that? You can really see the difference with the mascara. Like, you can really see the difference. And I don't even have lashes. Speaking of lashes, I'm gonna use the Ardell Naked Lashes in 424 to complete this look. And I'm using the lash tool from MAC Cosmetics. And you guys, I mean, hey, I did say natural. So we're not doing a whole, whole lot in this video, but I do think it's a, a soft serve. And I wanted to share because, you know, everybody is not into heavy makeup. And don't forget, you guys can always put mascara on your falsies. So I'm blending my falsies in with my real lashes. And I'm going to use my little fan from Amazon to dry everything and bring this look on home. Thank you so much. I hope you like this look. If you guys made it this far into the video, you are most certainly the true MVP. Thank you so much for rocking out with me. I really appreciate it. I did a voiceover style just because it's kind of late and just I wasn't with it, okay? I hope you like this look. I hope you like this video and I hope you come back. If you want to stay connected with me in between my video uploads here on YouTube, you can follow me on my Twitter, on my Instagram, and at Facebook, all at Byron Shears, okay? I would love to hear from you. And um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Thank you so much Benefit Cosmetics for sending these products out to me. This video is not sponsored. However, um, some of the brands that I use, I have a discount code. So you guys, again, check the description box there. Everything that I use will be down below. Everything will be labeled in the description bar, okay? So that's all I have, babies. And I can't wait to interact with you guys talk to you guys and see you guys again i hope you guys are having a wonderful week it's kind of hard to do it's 2021 i get it okay so just try to make the best of it okay and as i always say and i always will say love and light but most of all be beautiful later help me with this watch time like girl click a playlist it's gonna be right here Click a playlist and um, yeah, help a boy out. Love you. I'll talk to you soon. Later. Bye. But I'm still fly. I'm still fly. I know. I'm still fly. I'm still fly. Let's go.